It's a horrible feeling. I mean, it's something that I, I, don't know, I, I think some people just have to live it themselves so they can understand what it is that we go through. The way, um, I mean, it messes you up. She's 23 years old and at one point was a dreamer, but since then has become a felon because of workforce raids and the criminalization of migrant workers in general. Are, are you undocumented? Yes, I am. Here in Arizona, you're basically being criminalized for just even walking down the street, for just breathing air, you're being criminalized. I would have qualified for um, DACA if, but now that I have the felony on my record, it, I no longer qualify. So they basically just locked you out of the, uh, the entire process that's been set up now because of a random raid? Yeah. Maybe I don't understand, like, how does, a, how does it work, a raid? Like, how, how does it feel to be in the midst of that? I mean, it's just, it's very hard that you're just working and um, I don't know where all these sheriffs show up at your work and they start asking you for documentation and it's something you don't have. And just for that, you get arrested. Understood, thank you. But there's a second half to Noemi's story. She ended up being an integral part in the lawsuit against Sheriff Arpaio to stop the workforce raids that ended up making her a felon. This is Mara Cruz. She joined the Puente and Human Rights Movement and was involved in a direct action during the 2012 DNC in Charlotte, North Carolina. She bravely joined fellow undocumented immigrants in declaring their fearlessness. When I decided to be part of this movement was because my kids, they were, they were very hurt by the system, especially psychologically. And they decided that they were going to take the streets and raise their voices and said, I'm not a criminal just because I don't have documents. They took the streets, they participated in protests, especially one in, outside of a school where they challenged the school, uh, the, the authorities, specifically Arpaio, Sheriff Arpaio, and said, here I am, sitting in the middle of the street, come get me. I don't have papers, but I don't have fear. In that moment, I felt very sad when they were in handcuffs and they were taken to the jail. Because being so young, with dreams and hopes, they could not realize any of them. But also in that moment, I felt, I felt happy. Because I realized that I, I was going to fight, and I was going to fight for them. Puente develops, educates, and empowers migrant communities to protect and defend families. Um, that's why I've been, I fought so hard. I don't have the opportunity to qualify 
for the third action, the executive action of Obama, I wasn't, he doesn't consider me as somebody who's deserving. Um, myself and many other dreamer moms are not qualifying and are not taken into consideration. And I keep fighting so that more mothers and more people and more young people um, will actually benefit from his executive action. That's my job now, ensuring that those people that qualify um, apply. This is my story. Right. No, and that's that's the most important thing, and that yeah. it, that story is what's going to yeah. get people to understand. Stay tuned for more to come. This is Elon James White, and you are watching the AZ Dispatch.